Henry Pelham was a prominent British statesman who served as the Prime Minister of Great Britain from 1743 until his death in 1754. He was born on September 25, 1694, in Lawton, Sussex, England, and was the younger brother of Thomas Pelham Hollis, the Duke of Newcastle. Pelham entered politics in 1717 as a member of Parliament for Seaford. He quickly gained a reputation as a skilled and pragmatic politician, and was appointed as paymaster of the forces in 1724. He was also a supporter of Sir Robert Walpole, and played a key role in helping to maintain Walpole's grip on power in the House of Commons. When Walpole resigned in 1742, Pelham was chosen as the new leader of the Whig Party, and was appointed as Prime Minister the following year. During his tenure, Pelham oversaw a number of significant reforms, including the establishment of a national debt, the creation of a standing army, and the formation of the first police force. Pelham was also known for his diplomatic skills, and played a key role in negotiating the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle in 1748, which brought an end to the War of the Austrian Succession. He was also a strong advocate of free trade, and worked to reduce tariffs and open up new markets for British goods. Despite his achievements, Pelham's tenure as Prime Minister was not without controversy. He was criticized for his handling of the Jacobite Rebellion of 1745, which saw Bonnie Prince Charlie attempt to seize the British throne. He was also accused of corruption and nepotism, particularly in his appointment of his brother, the Duke of Newcastle, to key government positions. Despite these criticisms, Henry Pelham is widely regarded as one of the most successful and influential British prime ministers of the 18th century. His pragmatic approach to politics and his commitment to reform helped to establish many of the institutions and policies that continue to shape modern Britain today.